Hello, I have a uh, quick demo here to show you of the new agentic capabilities in Red Panda Connect and this Python SDK working a little bit better now. Um, so I have a local build of Red Panda Connect here installed and there's some new agent subcommands. The first one we're going to do is run a knit in this directory to create a project. So this has got uh, a few things in there. This is called demo. It's got an example agent that starts out that is just a weather agent. It's really silly, but lets you check the weather. It's got a single tool um, that is check weather. And so if we go into our MCP directory, we can see this check weather tool here. You can allow list which agents have which tools and you can create multiple agents. This is just an example when you start of a single agent though. Um, and then you can run um, this agent that you comes here, it's your helpful AI agent for finding out weather, and automatically we will wire up the correct tools from Red Panda Connect into this agent when we run it. Um, another cool thing here about this YAML file is you can find inputs and outputs for your agent. So I'm going to define standard in and standard out, but you could think this could be any um, input or output from Red Panda Connect. What we basically are doing under the hood here. Well, let me let me. Sh just showcase this before I um, Red Panda connect agent run. So we're going to run this and it's um, gone ahead and created our input. It's um, now going to go ahead and oops, um, I have old dependencies um, locally, so I need to sync. Um, and then we're going to run. And this gone ahead and um, yeah, it started this Python process as a sub process and it's going to invoke it over uh, gRPC locally. So I can ask it, what is the, the weather in Chicago? And it's going to invoke the LLM, which is going to then invoke this tool that is running inside the same Red Panda Connect process that I'm talking to over standard in and standard out. And now it responded based on what the tool gave it, it gave us a forecast here. Um, and now we can go ahead and um, exit. And it gets cleaned up. So um, like I said, this could be any set of inputs or outputs. What we're doing under the hood is creating that Python process as a um, plugin, which is spawned as a sub process and then we talk to it over um, standard in and out and also grpc um, as the actual data from red panda connects flowing in and out through um, grpc like i said you can give it a number of tools here that are defined in grpc uh, defined as resources in red panda connect and those can be any processors or caches or inputs and outputs as well um, and those can be defined in yaml like they are here and also um, in a Python subset called Starlark. So that is a demo and thanks for watching.